Hey Katie, guess what time it is? Thrifty Thursday time. So, what's up everybody? Aaron here, Katie there. We're doing a Thrifty Thursday today. So for today's Thrifty Thursday, Katie, tell them what we're doing. We're doing piggy bank out of milk jugs. Yep. So, we're each gonna make our own design. Um, mine's a secret. Katie's a secret, mine's gonna be a secret till the end. But the things you will need are, of course, a milk jug, a paintbrush. Unless you're going spray paint. Yeah, unless you're going with spray paint, yeah. You'll definitely need a utility or a box cutter. And paints. And tons of paints. So, Katie? And your imagination. And your imagination. Well, that's not imagination, that's crazy. So anyway, let's get started, Katie. Some people have crazy imagination. Yeah, I know I do. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so, Katie, let's get started painting. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour out my little bit here. Wow, that is dark. It's so metal. So, first thing I know I wanna do is I wanna paint this lid. That's a good idea. Because that's going to be the most uneven part of it. Well, aside from the fact that the bottle is not actually even at all. I mean, it would be, but it, or it is, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of awkwardly shaped. I probably overused paint, but oh well. I tend to do that a lot. You're not supposed to say anything, Katie. You're just supposed to be like, no, that's not true. <laughs> Do you want an honest friend or a butt I'm, kisser? I don't want you to kiss my butt. It's hairy. Not literally. <laughs> uh, the bad jokes keep going. From Tuesday's episode. Yeah. I can't believe I could. I can't believe I laughed at my own jokes on that. That was terrible. All right. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to basic. Okay. So I'm actually off camera right now, but I'm painting mine like that. Katie's painting hers like this. When we come, when we come back, we'll show you what we've gotten done next. Okay. So we got our first base coats done. Uh, as you can see, Katie's is all kinds of mystically, and mine's all dark. So my next step here for it for. Both of them. Uh, Katie, where do you want your hole to be? Well, next step, we'll be cutting the hole. We're going to let these dry a little bit more, and then we'll cut the hole. So when we come back, they'll be dried. Okay, so now that we have everything painted, our next step is to adult supervision time. Cut a slit here in the top so that the coins can go in there. So I'm going to do that. I'll do that, unless Katie wants to do it with hers. So... Wow, that's really tough. There. So you want the slit to be just big enough to handle every coin. And or dollar bill. Or, yeah, if you want to put dollar bills in there. So there's... Now, this is the fun part here is basically getting that piece right there. And don't ever cut towards yourself. So, there. There'll be a little extra tab there that you can kind of fold in like that. And then cut away like that, and boom. Now you've got your coin slot. So, as you can see, that should be able to hold. I got to come this way a little bit. There we go. That should be able to take care of every coin, you know, coin, dollar bill, whatever you feel like sliding in there. Um, and it'll fill up pretty quickly. So. We're going to cut here, and when we come back, we'll show you our final products. Okay, so Katie, show off yours and explain it a little bit. I just decided to go with the basic galaxy theme, and it went all crazy. Yeah, the acrylic paint really has a hard time draw, drawing. I stuck with a space theme, of course, and went with my favorite horror movie, Tremors. No, just kidding. It's the alien. I actually did the. I actually made the carton to look kind of like the head, so it does. It actually does kind of look like it too. Katie actually helped me with the mouth a little bit because I'm a terrible artist. But as you can see, 
Mouth's a little bit bigger than it should be, but oh well, you know. Yeah, it's attacking. Yeah, it's an attacking one. And I even added a little bit of blood up there on the top just to kind of make it look more like it had been, you know, a severed head. So, I thought this was really fun. In all honesty, I like doing small, goofy stuff like this because it's, you know, a little bit challenging and a little bit... Especially now that I'm getting more into my artistic side. You know, I, I used to could not draw. I've been trying to get this design with the cotton balls and I just realized what I should be using all along is a sponge. Yeah, a sponge would probably be better with paint. Totally didn't think about that. Oh well. But anyway, next yep, next time we'll have a better, we'll have another different craft we'll try with cotton balls maybe. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought about this project or what you'd like to see us do next. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll, we'll see you in the, the next video. video.